To the beach, Kevin's in his pram. We went for lunch. Yeah, I got a walk with baby Kevin. Right here, and we're just kind of bonding. Running from the law through the backfield. Taking time to exercise and drunk is with my good friends. for both the mother and the baby. As it's good for the mother's mental and physical well being. As she's able to distress from right. having the baby. I was younger and then. All the stress from the baby by walking. Take and me back she's to staying physically fit. But it's also a good way for the baby and the mother to we stay good. I think the baby's not in the world was pretty successful. As so I experienced what it's like having a real baby. And what they like at night and day, and that night time can be one of the most difficult times to happen. As on the first night, it woke up around six, seven times compared to the second night, where it woke up only twice or three times. And during the day, it was around six times and during the night, it was around eight times. So the night time can be a bit more difficult than the morning, where they would have like a nap during the day. So it's really good that they have that time to be able to relax. The baby was crying, but I didn't get up quick enough. Everyone else was just looking to go and see if the baby's alive to make sure, like, because it affects everyone's sleeping schedule. But it was definitely challenging, but I do think it was successful as I experienced what a real baby is like. Well, baby Kevin was a lovely experience. He was a lot of hard work at the same time. He affected our lives, but especially at night time, I didn't get a lot of sleep while he was here. Baby Kevin impacted a lot of aspects of my life, such as my sleep schedule. He'd be waking up so much at night, and I just had to get up and help him. So when the baby was sleeping, I was sleeping, and every time he woke up, I woke up to help him. I didn't have a lot of social life anymore with the baby because my friends would want to hang out at night time. I couldn't hang out at night time that much. I have the baby, I had to put him to sleep and I'm probably sleeping because I'm just tired from having the baby all the time. My school life, anytime the baby was sleeping, I was trying to do homework. I was like just trying to like do my assessments. But he impacted a lot because I just had to be like more organized than usual. Work. I couldn't really go to work that much when I had baby Kevin because I couldn't really give anyone give anyone to look after so I was looking after him and yeah but I just had to like change my whole schedule around him my whole life was just around Kevin for the weekends but I made those adjustments and they did end up working Three things I think you need in order to be a parent is definitely that age is a factor. As with age, you're more mature and you're more willing to give up your social life for a baby. As 
being a teenager, you wouldn't really want to give up your social life. Another factor is a job, like a proper secure job, as you need to be like financially secure to fund the baby. Like you can't just be sitting at home in your parents' home and just depending on others to help you with your baby. You need to be like financially secure for your own baby. I also think being organised is an important factor as well. As you need a birth, you need to change the baby, you need to feed the baby, like these, you need to put the baby in a routine and you have to be really organised to try and get the baby in a routine if you want to have your own life, like you need to be organised to set your life up while having the baby and like focusing on the baby. Assimilation was definitely more difficult than expected as during class time when I learned the baby's coo, I learned the feeding cry, I learned the birth cry, I learned the nappy cries and all the cries. I thought I would know straight away what to do and it would be so easy. But when you take the baby home during the weekend, I didn't realise it would be so difficult because with the lack of sleep you're just exhausted and you don't know what to do. And when you're in public you're kind of scared of everyone seeing you and you freak out that you're not doing it right. <laughs> so it was definitely more difficult than expected. For my postnatal issues I did bonding with the baby, exercising after having the baby and the importance of the mother's rest. Walking is a great exercise for postnatal exercise and recovery as you can walk with the baby down the street in a stroller and bond with it at the same time while the mother is able to retone her muscles and recover from having the birth and it's just great as it helps her physical and mental well by having the baby it's really hard for the mother to get sleep so it's good for the mother to sleep when the baby's sleeping so you're able to get the baby to sleep and sleep and it's good for the mother to have the baby's cot in the same room as them as it's easy to get to the baby you can hear the baby and it just Bonds. It helps you bond once again with the baby and it helps you connect with the baby and it just de-stresses you when you realise it's just the baby. <laughs>